All right, Dream Media family, welcome back to another episode. We are taking a deep dive into the URC brand. I got my good friend Adam here, and he is taking us through all the intricate details. Guys, I haven't touched a control system in a decade. URC was one of my favorite brands back when I did custom integration myself. Now we got killer guys out there doing installs in 28 different states. This is not only for my customers, this is also for my integrators. We wanna make sure you guys are all aware of the most current products that URC has to offer. And Anything new, up and coming, going forward, we're gonna be covering here on the Dream Media channel. But today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of the MRX-12. Probably one of the best selling controllers, I would assume, Definitely. based off of what you've told me. So just do a quick overview, and then we're gonna take it out of the box and just show you the ports and connections and things that you need to be aware of in regards to this product. So in a previous video, we already covered the MRX-5, which is our beginning MRX processor for one to four rooms. When this either runs into a memory cap or a room limitation issue, obviously the next best step is the MRX-12. As you go from the MRX-5 to the MRX-12, um, bottom line, you double everything. Even connectivity, the amount of IR capabilities, but this now adds the ability to do relay connectivity, add sensors, and so there's more physical things that can be connected, but the power and the memory also double. So when you're adding in all this newest state-of-the-art two-way communication, ring cameras, screen innovation shades, camera Lutron systems, lighting. Lutron it's lighting. all requiring a constant draw with that two-way communication. Exactly, so our systems talk to these products, but we equally listen, and that listening it takes memory, it takes focus, and if there's not enough focus, it can't listen, things get bogged down, the system starts to slow down, and that's not the experience that we want end users to have. The MRX-12, another big thing is this opens up the full architecture design where our systems can do up to 32 rooms or 32 zones. I say one or the other because I'm here in Zach's great room, which in theory I would say is three rooms, but a kitchen, dining room, living room really would be four. one zone. Exactly. Yeah, with the entry there. Exactly. 32 isolated areas, zone or room is the cap. And by going to the 12, that unlocks that all the way from the 12 through our 30, which is our flagship processor. So like the interface, and I love how you got like pictures of the rooms. Yeah. Like you're, you're saying I can do 32 pictures, 32 different like that display. This question is literally Pandora's box. <laughs> the amount of customization that you can do in URC is truly industry leading. We can do custom backgrounds. Like I can take a picture of this room and we're gonna put it on the screen. Exactly. For example, we even have graphic, um, two way graphics. So if you have a garage door set up in your house, we can have a scene where the icon shows shows the door that's up as it's going up and it shows the door down so you can look at your interface and physically see if the icon representing if that door is open or closed well it Just shows like example. a partial it does there is a For little like bit lighting of in my shades exactly nice exactly all right well let's open it up pop it open yeah let's take a look so starting with our MRX 12 this unit is also one U measurement for rack um, installations there are brackets that can install onto the side so it can easily fit into an AV cabinet. But if it is sitting in a console like a TV stand as well, obviously it has the traditional rubber feet so it can sit in there like a nice clean component. And those are removable, it looks They like, are, yep. So we can get them even closer. Exactly. Nice. So if we take a look at the back of the 12, let me grab the five here, and we can show you right away how much has changed between these two products. The five, you have four IRs with an RS-232. When you go to the 12, not only that, but now we have additional two IRs that actually have voltage capabilities. So if we're controlling something over um, a line that is a 100, 200 foot cable, we can actually intensify that voltage to make sure that that IR gets there correctly. Again, another way to make the system more dependable. A really cool feature that comes with the 12 from the 5 is the ability to add sensors. We have a product line of sensors that give us the ability to listen to pretty much anything in your home. And we can get the status based on the true or false um, status of that sensor. That could be a voltage sensor. It can be a light sensor. So if you have a light center on the front of an Xbox when the little light comes on, it can tell the status if the Xbox mm. is on or off. Playstations are really popular with this. Yes. Playstations are Bluetooth. Yeah. They don't play well with anyone. So you can turn a 
PlayStation on. Even better, you can turn on your entire living room by your kids going and grabbing their PlayStation controller. I call them Cheeto fingers. Yeah. It keeps their grimy hands off your nice remotes. Yeah. They can pick up their PlayStation controller, turn on the PlayStation, and the light sensor triggering on the PlayStation itself can send a macro command to the processor to run the control for that whole room without even touching an interface or anything else. They just inter they just work with what they already have and the whole room turns on and goes to that PlayStation input. We have one RS-232 on the 5, and as you go to the 12, it adds an additional one in there as well. Also, we have relays added so we can wire up relays, contact closures built right in. And what do you use a relay for? Adam? This would be like a traditional doorbell. Like okay. let's say you uh, someone hits just the old standard doorbell, we can wire that to the relay and then this can Notify identify the control system. Exactly. Somebody's and, at the front door. Oh, and once this knows that the doorbell's been rung, again, there's an unlimited amount of things that can happen in the home between our HDA products, our audio distribution, lighting. You can have rooms that you can have the lights flash. If you don't want an audible tone, all sorts of cool things you can do. That does conclude our unboxing on the MRX 12 controller. If you're interested in learning more about this product, reach out today for a free video consultation from all my installers out there who may be interested in carrying URC. I would like to point out that you guys have been awarded year after year with the industry leading tech support. These guys are there to make sure that the project goes seamless. Here at Dream Media, we have installers in 28 different states who can help you get it put in. Whatever you wanna do, you just dream it up and the guys are gonna make it happen for you. The point of these videos in the upcoming videos is gonna be really to inspire you guys. I have cool things like lighting control and shades and a ring doorbell and all these things that you guys probably have in your own home. So I'm gonna put this product to the test and uh, let you know my real thoughts after using it for a while. We're even gonna try out like the new Apple Vision. So a lot of cool, exciting content coming your way. If you wanna hear something or see something from this product line, drop comments down below. Let us know what you would like to see and also just tell us how we're doing, guys. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach and Adam from URC. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.